Indeed, it's time for our Medical Tuesday slot. And as you know, your, our, our lines are now open to you to call. The number is 0839133728. As, as you and rightly said, now we are talking about eye health because when it comes to your health, there aren't many things worse than problems with your eyes. But with so many disorders out there, how do you know what you have? And of course, the statistics reveal that uh, the number of people with short-sightedness has over, o almost doubled over the past decades. And this morning, we're, we're chatting to optometrist Andrew Cochrane to tell us all about exactly what it's about and, and how you can help your eyes uh, cope better with the current circumstances of the environment. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you very much, Katleko. So let's first take a look at what the leading causes of short-sightedness are. Look, um, there's some new studies that are showing that the environmental effects have got a, a big um, role to play mm -hmm. on people developing uh, short-sightedness, especially in those individuals that have a family history of short-sightedness. So mm -hmm. if your mom and dad are both uh, short-sighted, and you're a kid that studies a lot yeah. and you don't play outdoor sports, you've got a good chance you're going to become um, short-sighted. Yeah. But there's, my opinion. Yeah. yeah, there's been quite a buzz now. I, I understand that recently <coughs> um, an article was released that said that wearing some kind of contact lenses, mm. sleeping with them on, which people right. would be like, no, that's exactly what you're not supposed to do. Yeah. But that can actually help with short-sightedness. Yes, there, there is some scientific evidence to prove so. It's a little contentious, so mm -hmm. you're, you, the, our industry is a little bit divided. Mm -hmm. um, but it does seem in some sectors people are using something called orthokeratology. Um, those two articles that were written were incidentally, I think in Times Live, it was an, an online publication in the UK. The ones that talk about orthokeratology. Keratology. Cor correct. One of the mistakes they made is they talked about a soft contact lens. It's actually a hard contact lens that moulds the, the cornea and actually changes the, the, the focus of the eye. Yeah. So but are there any guidelines? Like you say, there are divisions. So how do mm. people then know what to go with where the experts themselves are divided? Well, it's an emerging it's an emerging science, and the and the science there are, there are um, there's a gathering body of evidence called myopia pre prevention. Or we're talking about myopia control. Mm -hmm. In the past, we would simply if a, if a child came in and they were short sighted, would give them a pair of glasses. They come back six months later. There's more and more and more. Yeah. yeah. So we, we we're thinking, you know what? Um, there's got to be a better way of doing it than, yeah. than than just kind of increasing the prescription all the time. So yeah. um, there are there are studies to prove that there are, are different. Uh, things that we can do is the apple. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> is this something that we need to be worried about quite a lot in South Africa? I'm not sure what the prevalence of the, the condition is. We have quite low um, prevalences um, as far as worldwide um, statistics go. I mean, the Asian people probably have the highest rates of myopia at this Why stage. Is that? Look, um, socially they are studying a lot because there's a lot of pressure on them to, to study. And often in some of these countries they're at school twice a day. So they go to school in the morning and then at school in the afternoon. Okay. Where in South Africa we tend to still have a slight culture of being outdoors, you mm. know, so we have our school day and then perhaps we're out playing a sport or on jungle gyms or, or outdoor, having outdoor environments. Yeah, so, okay. So, so in, in as far as, as uh, orthokeratology goes right now, there is still a bit of a division, no conclusive evidence yet. Look, um, I try to gather some opinion. I mean, the people that do it are completely sold on it. Yeah. Um, it's uh, basically you put a hard contact lens onto the eye. The, as you say, the child sleeps in the contact lens at night. It, uh, it molds the cornea. The, the trick to it, without getting too technical, is mm. that it actually focuses the image on the back of the eye, but creates a slight blur on the side of the retina. And there's some, there's some studies done by some Australian researchers mm -hmm. that prove if the focus is slightly off the back of the retina, the eyeball stops growing in length. That's what myopia is caused by. So myopia is actually a... It's not a, a proper genetic change because people say, oh, we're evolving and we're becoming short-sighted. Yes. But it's actually more of a, um, a kind of an adaptation in the eye. All right. Um, and scientists are trying to find the local chemical kind of um, trigger that's making these eye eyeballs um, grow longer. Okay, fantastic. Well, yeah. we'll continue our chat after the break uh, referring to more general health issues with, uh, with regards to eye health. And of course, you are welcome to give us a call on 083913 and chat to Andrew.